Hey, how's it going? This is Seth. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the name and the contact information for any property owner anywhere in the United States. And this is particularly useful whenever I am trying to find out who owns a specific property so I can make them an offer to buy their property. Or if I'm trying to find out the names in mailing addresses or phone numbers of the people who live around a property that I own so that I can reach out to them and see if they want to buy my property. There's tons of different uses for this. And there's actually a lot of different data services services out there that can do this kind of thing, but the land portal is what I've been using a lot for this because it has a ton of other very useful features in it that are particularly useful to land investors or anybody who is dealing with vacant land properties. So if you have a property address in mind that you're looking for, you can just type the property address right up here. You could also search for it by the parcel number or the owner name or the latitude and longitude if you have that. In this case, I'm just going to zoom in on a random property here and let's go over here to maybe Cedar Rapids, Iowa. See what we can find there. So we would just zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. And we're just going to pick one of these properties at random. And I'll show you how this works. So first of all, we can see all the parcel lines right here, which is helpful right off the bat. But let's say we're looking at this property right here, where there doesn't appear to be any house or structure on it. So we don't really know what the address is or how to get a hold of whoever owns this thing. Well, all we have to do is just click on it. And it's going to open up this little window of information on the side. We can see that this one is owned by the state of Iowa. We can see the address of the parcel, which otherwise wouldn't have been apparent because there's no building on it. We can go down here. We can also see the owner's information. So if we wanted to send a letter to this person, we could see their address right here. That's exactly how we get a hold of them. And for that matter, the same thing goes for what if we owned this property right here, but we want to find out who owns the ones around it. What if we wanted to contact the owner of this property up here and see if maybe they might want to buy the property from us? Well, we could just go ahead and click on it and it's going to pop up all the information of that particular owner. I'm going to blur this out for their privacy, but you can just see, you know, we've got their name up here, which is blurred out. We've got the owner information with the owner's mailing address. So it's really as simple as that. You just have to click any of these parcels and it'll show you all that information. So their mailing address is really easy to get. You can also click on these map filters and view and then turn on owner names. And it's going to show all the owner names right over the parcel lines, just like that. So it's super easy to see those names. You can just see at a glance which ones are owned by individuals versus LLCs versus, uh, you know, community college, the state of Iowa. But uh, what if we want to actually get these people's phone numbers and email addresses? How can we do that? Well, the land portal actually makes it really easy to skip trace these people too. So let's go ahead and click on this one right here. And all you have to do is go up here and click on this skip trace button. And this is what we call single skip tracing, where we're just getting the phone number and you can add email addresses too of this single owner. If you want to, there's something called bulk skip tracing, where you can actually skip trace a massive list of people. And it ends up being a lot cheaper on a per skip trace basis. But again, in this case, I'm just trying to get this one person's phone numbers or email addresses, whatever we can get. Let's go ahead and click this. Confirm. Now this says your order has been successfully placed and it shows us right here on the screen the two different phone numbers it was able to find and it says it was not able to find any email address. So there we go. If we want to give them a call right now, we can do that. The missing email address is not terribly uncommon. Email is a little bit less of a reliable communication medium in the first place, whether you can even get a valid address that somebody is still using. And on that note, if you try to skip trace it and it just can't pull anything back, it's not going to charge you for it. You're only going to get charged if it actually brings something back. And in this particular case, we only skip traced one person and one property. So there's not really a need to download the CSV file. But if for some reason you skip trace hundreds or thousands of people, you could also just download a CSV file and find all the information it was able to find on all of them right here. But yeah, I just want to make sure you are aware of this. If you're ever trying to contact the owner of one specific property or several owners of the neighboring properties, whether you just want their mailing addresses or just their names or their phone numbers, or maybe even their email addresses, if you get lucky, it's really easy to do that with the land portal. And if you want to give the land portal a try, you can actually get a thousand free exports. If you sign up for the advanced plan, just click through the RE tips, your affiliate link beneath this video, use the coupon code Seth at checkout with the advanced plan and you'll get those thousand and free exports. Thanks for watching and I wish you all the best with finding and contacting those property owners.